city of New Orleans will spend the week taking down Confederate monuments. The first one came down overnight. Three others will be removed in the next few days. The mayor called the statue symbols of racism and white supremacy. Workers taking down the monument wore bulletproof vests, military style helmets and scarves that covered their faces because supporters of the monuments have made death threats against anyone who would try and take them down. And here in Texas, some of the most prominent symbols of the Confederacy are on the UT campus. The university removed the Jefferson Davis statue two years ago, but controversy still surrounds other statues of Confederate generals, and that includes Robert E. Lee on the main mall. KVU's Rebecca Trejo is live on campus, and Rebecca, what is UT saying about the future of those statues? Mike, the university says as of right now, there are no plans to change or move this large statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee, along with the statues of other of two other Confederate leaders. Now, many of those that I spoke with today want the statues removed, yet others say it's a part of history. Yet so many other students ignore the statues completely on their daily walk to class. Abigail Aduro was already late for class today, so she barely had time to talk. I'm a senior, so it's my fourth year. But after asking for her opinion on the fact that these three men have statues on campus, she opened up. This is a university of the first class, and they pride themselves on trying to be diverse and all those things. But to some degree, if you really cared about your African-American or your minority students, you wouldn't be memorializing, you know, such things. Confederate generals Robert E. Lee, Albert Sidney Johnston, and the Confederacy's postmaster general John H. Reagan lined the main mall. Some Texans say removing the statues would be removing history. It would be a slight to the service of the gentlemen whose monuments are being taken down. It would also be a slight to Major General George W. Littlefield at the time, the largest contributor to the UT system who bequeathed the South Mall be decorated with his heroes. Major Littlefield was a Confederate Army officer and a regent for well, UT. Yet others who live in Austin like now, like a local like NAACP right chapter way. president, Nelson Linder, say these statues have a completely different meaning, especially in Austin. Well, well I, I would challenge the liberalism because it was so liberal why these statues still exist. See, in Austin, Texas, we have a good way of not dealing with the real issues here. We talk a lot, but when it comes to the, the issues themselves, like these, these white supremacist symbols, we don't really want to address that. Linder says he's demanded the school remove the statues, and he's hopeful they will. Again, the school has no plans to take those three statues down. Now, as for the Jefferson Davis statue that was removed in 2015, that has been moved to the Briscoe Center for American History. Live at the University of Texas campus, Rebecca Trejo, KVU News.